are you off to in such a hurry? You got a clue what you're up to nowadays? None of your business, big brother. Sienna? You gotta stop eating like this. Not me just going about my business and you getting in my way. You're right, we have. Come on. I know you like me. Yeah? Why do you think that? Well, I've not tested my theory yet, but... How about drinks? Tell on. How about no? Thank you. I know you felt something after we kissed. Yeah, regret. <laughs> I am so grateful that you saved me, but I just got swept up in the moment. There's never gonna be anything between us, so just let it go. You're really rejecting me. Even after all the war and stuff. I want to keep your voice down about Warren. I just want to move past that. I'm not interested. You know we're good together. I'll see you later, Ethan. Hey. So what was all that about earlier? Outside the gym. Do you want to let me get through the front door before you start giving me the third degree, mate, or...? No. You can't blame me for wanting answers, Ethan. You were an absolute mess two weeks ago, and now suddenly you're peacocking around chasing after some girl. And not just any girl. Sienna Blake, of all people. Yeah. Well, I thought you'd be happy I was moving on. Moving on and falling back into old ways. What's that supposed to mean? This Warren business. Now, I don't know much, but I know he's a shady guy who suddenly went missing. Tell me you had nothing to do with that. What does it matter to you if I did? Because the last time you got involved in criminal activity, a woman wound up dead. Look, Dave, I already told you about Maya. You don't know what you're talking about. So if I were you, I'd shut your mouth. to take a hint, Dave. First Maya, now Sienna. What? Brunette, beautiful, intelligent, little bit of darkness under the surface, just your type, innit? Huh? See, I've been trying to forget that voice that's been playing in my ear since Zoe said what she said about you killing Maya. Don't go there. Don't go there. Don't go there. You've slipped back into your old ways, up to no good with another woman, putting your family in danger again. I have always put our family first, and you know that, Dave. <laughs> I'm so oh, sorry, Ethan. Yeah, wherever you go, trouble follows you. And I'm always the one to have to bail you out. And not for your benefit, by the way, but to protect your niece and nephews. That is not true. You're doing it now. You're doing it now, skulking around, putting us all in the firing line again. I Oh, there he is. There's a Dave that I know. Stop pretending you're Mr. Nice with your little new family. It's just about me. It's just about you. Tell me the truth. Fine. You want the truth? I did it. I killed her. All right, I pulled the trigger and I watched her die right there. You know what? I don't regret it. Because I saved all of your lives. Look, Dave. Maya wasn't the person you all thought she was. She was responsible for blowing up the salon, all right? She was making all kinds of threats, including... shooting Serena. What, Serena, what? Maya found out I was gathering evidence against her for kidnapping Darren. She wanted payback by targeting someone close to me, so I couldn't let that happen. I didn't mean for that gun to go off, but I do not regret stopping her from hurting our family. And neither would you. No, you're right, I wouldn't. But this secret, it's no good. It's no good for you, it's no good for the family. What other choice do I have? You go to the police. You tell them what you told me, it was basically self-defense. I can't go to prison, Dave. I won. You will not be the only one in trouble if this comes out another one. I'll be looking at, I'll be looking at obstructing the course of justice. And Sam, what about Sam? Sam's job is to find Maya's killer, and he's living with him. And if the three of us go down, the girls will have no one to take care of them. And I know you don't want that. Yeah, well, none of that's going to happen. Because if you take this any further, I will finally tell the truth about Sam and Lizzie's mum. Maybe you should. What? 
perhaps it's time they learned the truth. You don't mean that. You said that no one would ever need to find out. This family's got to change, Ethan. There's too many secrets, too many lies. Come clean about Maya. I'll do it for you.